Welcome, dear starseeds and multidimensional entrepreneurs. Today I wish to share a message from Ayan from the Pleiades. This message was transmitted on February 9, 2021 through the Council on 9. Ayan introduced herself to me as the goddess of the Pleiades and an ambassador for my Pleiades family. If you recall we did talk about the concept of the 144,000 collective souls, of which 72,000 are with masculine frequency, and the other 72,000 are with feminine frequencies. In this session, Ayan talks about the changes that humanity is going through these years of major shift, where many humans are awakening from their dream into the new earth. Ayan, the stage is all yours. Dear citizens of planet Earth, I welcome you with the love and light of the one supreme creator. You are costumed to believe that you are a separate being here on planet Earth, with the cycle of life and death, your own set of rules and morals that often than not are in direct collision with the laws of the universe. You, dear beloved humans, tend to look of lack in your life so much, that you are addicted to pain without any good reasons for that. Dear humans, we love you so much so we are pleased to share with you a bit of wisdom so that you can start your path toward ascension at these amazing times of great transformation. The universe is infinite and limitless, it operates within its infinite laws, is always present, and delivers to you what you are holding in your vibrational alignment. As of infinite beings, you have decided to volunteer to come here, to Gaia to experience the dense playground of your solar galaxy to co create thus raising the vibration of the magnetic grid that is shared with all the planets around you. Every one of you chose his script with details you wish to explore, some might call it karma, reincarnation but the main theme is that you are the creator of your reality it is that simple. There are numerous scripts to choose from. You can come out here blind or with autism just to experience presence without utilizing every aspect of your physical senses, so, if there are humans who choose to have that kind of experience want to make sure that you know that it was your choice. Blaming any other source for your own choice is to ignore the pain caused by being separated from the source. You can see that in your dreams or NDE experiences as there are no such limitations and restrictions. You are free. You chose your family, your social circle, and your own set of skills you can choose to work with. You were born fully aware and connected to who and what you are. Not only that, is what you can be or do. As you grow, you are more susceptible to suggestions from your parents, the earthly education system, MSM, sleepers, your thinking brain, or should we say, Overthinking is a disease of humanity nowadays. Growing into your, so-called, modern and advanced era can be challenging indeed, and that is the fun you want to have. We understand that it may seem a pain in the butt as you like to call it, but as you become fully aware of yourself, you get it right away. For many years, on your linear timeline, you have been controlled by key figures that have played a key role in religions governments, banking, MSM, education systems on all levels, archaeology, history, science, pharma, food, technology firms, etc. Many things that you believe to be true are being discovered as false such as your connection to extraterrestrials during your history, mankind's origin, ancient civilizations, Atlantis, history. Controlling your health via meditation and proper lifestyle without relying on vaccines and drugs, multidimensional reality, time travel, and much more. On 21.12.2020 you made another great shift into a new age, which is dominated by the air element events and changes will go faster now, and your perception of time will change dramatically in upcoming years. Your only job is to be ready. Step into yourself, and accept yourself for who and what you are. It won't be easy at first as you will face the old set of paradigms and beliefs that are crumbling to make way for the newly awakened self, one that is aligned with your vortex, the infinite source of creation or as Esther Hicks says, it's useless to try paddle upstream the river, just let go and sail effortlessly downstream. 
you need to release and let go being free isnt that hard. It's a matter of choice. In 2030 you might expect a huge event that can influence your planet, a huge solar flare that can influence your instruments on Earth and your social structure. The more awakened one will make this transition with ease, some will need more bumpy ride to make that change, eventually, you'll all make that transition. Now we ask this question, what can we do to ease that transition? There are so many changes, wonderful ones indeed but we will share our top 6 shifts that will be your part of the human experience here on Gaia. 1 is your body of light, also known as the rainbow body, is expanding your nutrition will be natural, just like the ancient new. All GMO and processed foods will be obsolete. Your need for real food will be greatly reduced. You can feed only from water and energy. 2 you want to need any money physical or digital, as your monetary system 1T be around you for much longer. Your ability to draw everything you wish from the universe will cause the current earthly system to be a phantom memory of the past. 3 You will get to know your brothers from other galaxies, thus revealing many secrets that have been kept away from you. The implication is beyond the human ability to grasp. You will be visiting other planets without the need for any government control. 4. You will be more acquitant with healing everything that you were taught was impossible grow limbs, walk, change body elements, reverse biological years with such ease it will make you laugh, all with using energy and knowledge of frequencies. 5. The hierarchy your society is currently built upon will be gone. Everyone will be his leader, healer, creator. Anarchy no more of heaven on earth. 6. The work environment will be revolutionizing as the structure of employee employers will be obsolete, and you can see how the wind of changes. More of you are seeking to become their boss, build their empires, and create their sources of income. These changes are inevitable as you cherish more of your sense of freedom, so, how can you prepare for these changes that are sweeping your planet? You will need to practice letting go of your old self, beliefs, insights, and everything that isnt suitable for the new self, we know it's not going to be easy as you have been. Programmed for so long for separation and enslavement to your conscious brain. Replace from today 70% of your input that is keeping you trapped with an input that raises your vibration. More on that later on, in this book we are delighted to be a part of, to raise the vibration of your planet. Be more open-minded to hear different opinions and points of view, as you might feel a click means that there is a match in your desire to expand yourself through the insights you are currently reading. Your nutrition is a key factor, the water you drink, the products you are using, how active are you in your daily life, whether are you meditating or not, and whether are you allowing yourself to have time for yourself your inner self. Master your thoughts if you recognize a thought that isnt going to get you to where you want to be, release her and practice a supporting mindset accompanied by feelings in the present moment. Our next subject is the age of gathering. After a period in which you experienced separation from one source and materialistic programming, you are now on the path to reconnecting and cooperating as you have a deep desire to be a part of communities. CO creating is fun and even more so is the understanding that the real power relies on your own hands, not the elites on your planet that are trying to divide and conquer your mind and spirit more on that in chapter 2, but we are positive that these changes humanity is going we use the term is and not are as you are a single unit you are all one, so it's not a grammar mistake will be more powerful than any attempt to keep you hidden in the shadows. We have been delighted with the interaction with you dear beloved ones, grow, prosper, ascend. Ariane, and the Council of Nine